Hey, Turtle Club, good morning. It is 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's once again time for the Morning Grog Coffee Buffet Edition. Guys and gals, I am Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. And as you can tell, with me kind of going on and off camera a little bit, I'm not exactly completely prepared. Grabbing my game controllers. Hey, Dylan, we haven't sunk. No, man, not yet, not yet. Sneaking happens on Sundays, and this is Saturday, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let me double-check my calendar. Yep, Saturday the 14th. Hey, Alex. Um, Riose. Hey, Sabo. How's it going, Jason Haskins? Noah Bruner. Man, we are getting quite the crowd already. Way cool, guys. Don't forget, today is a buffet. If you look right there, we're at 290 subscribers. Everyone we gain after that is an extra minute at 9 o'clock. If you like the video today, that's another extra minute. And if you're still watching at 9, that's an extra minute. So new subs can get up to 3 extra minutes. Returning subs can get extra 2. Let's see here. Uh, Hobbs, good morning. Fallen Powers. Uh, good morning in the Saturdays. Yes, absolutely good morning. Absolutely good morning. Hey, Epic Potato Chip. Hey, guys. Epic Potato Chip is awesome, dude. Uh, EPC, or just Potato for short. He streams similar content to me. He does some of the more adult-related, scarier stuff, too, as well. Am I close to beating the game? Dylan, no. Um, actually, Hobbs has been keeping us up to date and keeping us honest on this game. Uh, if you look in the description, we are like at 45%, I think, to completion. Um, as far as storyline goes, yeah, we're pretty much in the uh, 900 Korok range. Uh, Freddy, hey, how's it going, man? Glad to see you this Saturday. So, we um, we went to the Deco Tree. Deco Tree said, hey, um, uh, what's my favorite dungeon? Oh, wow. You know, I, uh, I was really wanting to know, like, I really wanted, really wanted to like the Hookshot Dungeon a lot more than I did, um, but it just didn't really do it for me. To be honest, the Volcano Temple was still pretty cool. Hey, Jarzard X, how's it going, dude? Uh, I, I really like the uh, the Volcano Temple out, out of all of them so far. Hey, RX Quantum, how's it going, dude? Appreciate you being here today too, and. We're going back to Windfall Island for some sploosh. Uh, Lurf the Earth Temple. Yeah, the Earth Temple, um, you know, it was okay. It was okay. I, I feel like it wasn't named properly. Steven Thompson, how's it going? Oh, yes, absolutely, Noah. Uh, playing Minecraft with subs was great. Uh, I probably would not ever, and I, I mean mean it in, in the definitive Sith Lord kind of way I, I'm saying it. I would probably never, ever play Minecraft on my own. Uh, what's that mask? Charizard X. This is the amulet, uh, the hero's amulet. It'll actually let us see the health bar of anybody we come to. It's the prize for killing every single living thing inside the um, trial cave. Hey, time to deliver pizza ball and cat water. It's great to see you guys. Super awesome wave to my awesome mods. And this is a new week for Free For All Friday, guys. If you look right there, Lucas so far has chosen Battlefield Heroes, which is a free-to-play game. Um, he has currently provided $3 to the channel this week and is in first place. Uh, if anyone were to beat that, it would be their choice of whatever game. That's what we do for Free For All Fridays. And these kids are still uh, being kind of rude with the way they come up to me and push and shove a bit. I think this is the sploosh room. Do, do, do. Is it? Is it? Oh, sploosh! We have found it, guys. So, there's a treasure map for beating this guy, apparently. Someone was telling me last time. So, we're going to have to uh, figure this out. The Den of Trials. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I, I beat it. I love the way this guy looks. I mean, this is so cheesy, so carnival-like, so campy. It's it's serious, like uh, you know the the dude's like, um, hey, uh, I hate that side quest. It's like battleships. Yes, it is like battleships, and I I usually do a lot better at battleship than this. I used to play with my little brother like all the time. 
Ah, uh, so... Alright, so... So we got one on the fourth hit, that's good. I don't know if that means that we got the, the three here, so let's try one there, so that's not it. Because they got us that way last time. Yeah, there's no way we can win this, alright. Yeah, it is Buffet. Thank you for that pizza ball. Really appreciate that. I gotta figure out mathematically what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, and guys, I promise you we're not gonna spend more than like 15 minutes on this probably. But we do need to try to get it done because it is part of the 100%. So we got two out of three that time, which isn't too bad. Five different items from this. Oh, wow, Hobbs. All right, so that's rough. Okay. That was good luck. So all we have left is the 4 1. That actually is really good for us. Now we have no way to win. Wow, wasn't the 4 1? We already had the 4 1. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, man. I can never get one squid no matter how much you played this game. Oh, well, no worries, Fallen Powers. It's, uh. We're doing 100% clear on this game, though. So we, we absolutely have to get everything done. So we got to shut this guy out of business, and the only way we do that is by winning Battleship. Sploosh, 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 sploosh. So it's either the 2-1, so that's the 4-1. That's the two one. So we'll. All right. So we know where that one is. So we have five shots to hit something that's three by three. So this makes the most sense for a possibility. Mm, this makes the most sense for another possibility. Ah. Oh. All right. Hey, Agnish, how's it going? So, whew. This is our last shot, guys. Nope. Oh, well. Ah, so close. So close, yet so far away. All right. So, generally speaking, when placing, those are going to be your best bets. These are your second best bets. Sploosh, 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 guys. Uh. Oh, thanks, Yagnash. Thanks, man. Uh, definitely luck has a lot to do with it. 
There is some strategy to it. Yeah, effort. Sploosh, sploosh. The voice acting on this guy is just spot on. He definitely has that accent of, congratulations, you're wasting your money on this. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, he, he is a viewer on this channel, but he has school during the week. And he's also uh, participates in school sports. So B13 Tiger Dylan probably, uh, we may not see him as often during the school year. Oh, Pizza Ball with the 208. Actually, you know what? I think that's going to put Pizza Ball a little bit higher. Uh, 208. No, no, Pizza Ball. That ties. Oh, very well played. Very well played, Pizza Ball. So now we have a tie between Lucas and Pizza Ball. But the well, curious question now is, of course, what will Pizza Ball choose um, if Lucas... Well, actually, Lucas has already chosen. So what will Pizza Ball choose if he gets higher than Lucas is the question now. Yeah, get some hashtag Pizza Ball going on in there, guys. All right, so we're going to sploosh there, in there, in there, and hope for the best. Uh, 310. Oh, yeah, it is. I did bad math. I did bad math. All right. Well, Pizza Ball, dude, uh, we're having people actually choose what their game is when they take first place. So we will put that blank there for now. Uh, but we will wait for you to tell us what you're wanting to play. And that will let us know what we need to update that for. Yeah, I did bad math in my head. Alrighty, Let's see here. Sploosh. Sploosh, sploosh. Kaboom! Oh. Well, there's a possibility we won't get totally skunked here. Kaboom. 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 Oh. Oh. We have an intersection, guys. That'll get the four piece. Sploosh. We did it! We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. That's awesome, Dylan. That is so awesome. <laughs> Even the windscreen is epic. Oh, my gosh. It's a piece of heart. So one down, we have like four more to go. Oh my gosh. All right, so 20 cannonballs. All right. All right, so this is good. This is really good. We have only a four piece left, right? So we there's only so many places that this squid can hide now. So we place all right. So he could hide there. He could hide anything that intersects there. So we know that takes care of that, takes care of all that. We're going to put one there just in case. All right. So we know it could be here. Nope. Couldn't be there. All right. Can't be there. All right, so we got one. All right, all right. Let's see here. You think an arc for free for all Friday? Um, okay, well, cool. That'll work. We will absolutely put that in there. Um, do a little quick addition there. Dot that up to three ten. All 
Ark Survival Evolved for PC. Oh, well, we got one guess. We get one gaff. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Woo! Boom! All right. It was close to a guy. I wasn't 100 percent sure there for a bit. For just a moment, I was pretty sure that we were just skunked. But yeah, we are absolutely sinking some battleships today. Got the little Islanders thing going on. Treasure chart. Yes, that's what we came here for. So Hobbs said I can get five items out of this. We got two, so we got three more to go. Um, yes, Cannonball Z. We got one out of the first salvo of eight that we shot off. Oh, we're in a bad position. Have I done the other Battleship minigame? Um, I wasn't aware there was another Battleship minigame. I thought this was the only game in town. The fact that we got the the four one first really skunks us. Yeah, that was that takes away a lot of our options mathematically. Oh wow. Oh wow. We are we are not in a good spot, guys. Oh. Oh. There's a good possibility we're going to miss every single shot this time. How do we manage that? How do we manage missing every single sh Oh, there we go. Oh, well, hello. East of Windfall? Okay. It's not exactly the same as this minigame. Oh, that's fair. Wow, we, we, we went from, like, really bad to doing good, and then bam. Wow, all in the middle, just clustered right there. And, you know, it, it's... It's real easy when you come across a, a placement like that to go, oh, well, it's all going to be in the middle. But it's it's not. I mean, you can see right now our, our tactic that we've been exercising this whole entire time is paying off. There's the 4-1, which is unfortunate. There's the 2-1, which again is unfortunate. Um, so we're going to zone in a little. Okay, so we know... Oh, okay, so we, we got this, guys. Mathematically, they can't hide a third person with when we had, you know, six shots left. It just wasn't going to work for them. So, bam, three down, two to go. Yay! All right, we're we're getting this, guys. We're getting there. We're we're doing actually way better than I thought we was gonna do. After all the times we've played Battleship in the past, we have gotten just skunked every step of the way. And this time we're doing we're doing a lot better than we have been. Oh, so there's two of them here. So there's the three one. All right, so now we're we're out we're down to a four one. Um, so again, our options are a lot better off than what they could be. Oh, not good. Our options just went downhill really fast. Oh, they were all clustered again. Mm. 
And they say it's a game for kids, right? I don't know about you, but if I was like... Let's say this game's targeted at 10-year-olds. I, I got a 10-year-old nephew. This would be like Rage Quit Throw the Controller by now for him. And he's a real chillax kid. I mean, kid is like way mellow. And the fact that this would be like, you know, throw the control. Or, bam. Uh, for, for him, just not good. Not good at all. Um, man. This is your favorite Zelda game. Well, it's, it's uh, on my top. It's on my top list, Efren. It's... It's definitely got some fiddly bits to it that, that toggle my buttons, but uh, Sploosh and Kaboom is, is is definitely not on my top ten list of favorite things in the game so far. Um, level design's great. Puzzle design's great. Some of the... Uh, this is what we call like uh, rupee sinks um, or time sinks, and it... It's really, really... I mean, it's heavily luck-based. We are way into RNG territory at this point. All right. Just double checking that I didn't get, and the fact that it doesn't tell you how big the squid is that you just knocked out is, is probably right there on my list of like things that I dislike. We got a new person on the channel if you'd like to talk we use conversations here we start off with like hello or hi not random spammy comments um so but yeah welcome just none the same oh wow there's no way we can get the things filled in there at all and um hmm And there we go. Sploosh. We got one kaboom. Hey, it's the two kaboom. That's that's actually good. That's not a bad thing. That means we got a, a pretty pretty good chance of still pulling this off. Oh, you're all right, Magic Carb. No worries, man. Dude, I, I totally understand, dude. Uh, you absolutely need to do what your parents tell you to do. You know, that's... Oh, now we got a three left. Ugh. Hey, Tiger! Hey, see, there he is, Dylan. I told you he, he might be here, uh, but he's, he's got, you know, he's got some cool stuff going on in his life right now. All right, so... Do -do -do. And... Play the Bob Barker Plinko You Didn't Win sound. Dun 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 dun. Alright, yeah, we're going to try again here. Um, <laughs> school does not ruin everything. Um, school does. Um, you know, it teaches us real life. Ooh, wow, that's some luck. That is some luck. All right. We're going to hit these corners just to keep our kind of OCD-ness going on. All right, so... Oh, that's the 4-1. Maybe that's the 4-1, I mean. Oh, now we're down with the 2-1. Ugh. And when you've done the two one, there's just not much you can do. Your cat's going crazy, Magikarp? Oh, wow, man. Magikarp, you're primarily a 
fish Pokemon. What are you doing with a cat nearby, man? That's kind of dangerous for you. Of course, you do turn into a Gyarados originally, you know, so cat may actually know that and keep away. Since it's relevant to the conversation, guys, I'll let you mention that name there, but we do usually want to keep other streamers off of our stream as far as their names and advertisements, so I appreciate you guys adhering to the rules on that kind of stuff. All right, so... Man, game is so hardcore. Oh. So that's... No way. We got five... We got four more shots we got to sink. Yeah. Your cats are too nice to eat you. What? That's, that's really weird. <laughs> Best place for that stuff is in our Discord. You are correct, Pizza Ball. That's what the general conversation in Discord's for, is that kind of stuff. Things that aren't really relevant to the, the current stream. Oh, that's okay, man. That, that, that's that's why you didn't get timed out. That's why you didn't get the stuff removed, man. You know, that, that's... Ooh, we already got the two out of the way. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got nine shots to hit seven targets. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah, we're sunk. Yeah. Hit him with a stern look. <laughs> oh. And guys, this, if if we don't if we don't take the prize on this one, we're we're probably done with the cannonballing for a while. So that's the three. There's the two. Oh, now we got us a game again, guys. Oh. Boy, it's a hard one, though. So, hmm. Well played, game. Well played. <laughs> I'd say, Bo, it's going pretty good, man. It's going pretty good. We didn't win that time, guys. So far, we got to get five battleships done. We got three. We're going to come back to this at the top of the hour, guys, when the buffet cycle's over. Um, so, kind of want to get on to some actual stuff there. Hey, Chadley, how's it going? Hey, guys, uh, Chadley's another streamer. Uh, if you know, you know, what we were talking about Pizza Ball earlier, Chadley is very similar, but he does a, a family friendly stint. Him and his wife and his kids, they all kind of get together and play some stuff. Um, they play everything from Minecraft to The Sims to Mega Man Maker. And Chadley himself is doing a blind playthrough of the uh, Half-Life 2 series. So, right. What we're going to do now, I think, is... Uh, we're going to go over here to the Forsaken Fortress because we haven't... We have not actually gone back since we were told that everything packed up and left. So I kind of want to chill over there and see what we can get into. Do some exploring. Um, oh, we also that's also good and relevant to what we're doing today. Another treasure chart. Oh! And it's on Star Island, which is over here also. So way cool. A new person on the chat that keeps spamming. That's your second timeout. The next time you'll be banned from the channel. 
Uh, choose your next words wisely in five minutes. That's all I can recommend. Uh, well, you know, Tiger, uh, Chadley streams uh, usually happen a little later than mine by far. So I, I can see that. But he might be a better person for you to try to catch the timing for because this is generally um, a little bit later in the day. Uh, maybe too late for you, though, because I think you're an East Coaster like us. And over this way to Star Island. Before we go to the Forsaken One. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know if uh, the Duck Squad's going to be doing Halloween duck costumes. That'd be kind of uh, interesting. But I don't know if Avocado and uh, Randy and all of them would be in that vein of stuff. All right, so put on the brakes, put on the brakes. Coming to that, to put on the brakes. You know, I don't even have a actual Halloween anything picked out this year. We, me and Digrat, you know, Digrat and I are, we are soulmates, right? We are each other's opposite. We complete each other. That's just the best way to say it. And I'm I'm kind of extroverted a lot, um, especially when put next to Digrat. She's more introverted. So we don't usually do the costume party thing. Um, we so we don't usually do the dressing up thing. In our neighborhood, oddly enough, and I mean this, we are on two huge major thoroughfares. Um, we didn't get a lot of kids for trick-or-treating, which was kind of surprising because there's several of them all over this community. Um, but we went out, we bought candy, we, you know, turned the porch light on, we, you know, put the sign out saying trick-or-treat friendly. And then we proceeded to have to eat, like, three pounds of candy by ourselves, which was not cool. Uh, congratulations on that, you know, people that, you know, sell candy. You got us to have a, a good, huge chunk. So... Triforce chart 3, treasure chart 4. Did the chart stop at Triforce chart 3? And then... Alright. Because I, I, th I think... Maybe? Because the way the treasure charts... You know, there's only one treasure per place. So I think the... Does the Triforce charts kind of count as a treasure map? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, um, yourself, yeah, I'm I'm probably going to go as as myself. Um, hey, how's it going, Richie? But yeah, um, several years we've dressed up as other things. Though uh, Digrat actually went as Honey Boo Boo one year, which was awesome. Um, she had the the tutu and the toddlers and tiaras kind of thing going on. It was quite hilarious. Um, I went as Big Bob from um, a, a movie that's really not family friendly, so we probably won't talk more about that anymore. Um, huh. Scary enough as it is, ha. Huh? Treasure charts 1 through 46. Okay, so. Huh. Not East Coast in UK. Okay, so it's uh, it's like in the afternoon for you right now, Tiger. That's cool. Well, there's a rat hole. I don't know if there's any reason for us to be over here. To be honest, guys, I, I'm just I'm kind of guessing at this point. Delicious. Oh, so we, we red potion, blue potion. 
We'll get a red potion from him. For 30 rupees? Yeah, that's actually a real good price for a red potion. Alright, that's not too bad. Alright, put her boomerang back, though. Yeah, I, I really don't think there's any reason for us to be over here other than, like, to buy stuff from the rats, I guess. Huh. Because the way they were talking about it, like, they, they just basically all packed up shop, they left. My understanding is when we come inside here, there shouldn't be any, like, guards or anything either. Um... Buy nothing from him. Yeah, well, yeah. So there is some stuff here, but I don't think we have to go any further in here. So we got the treasure chart taken care of. We're over here now. Shipwrecks. Well, guys, I mean... Hmm. We can go to some of these other maps that we have and start trying to knock these out. Yeah, absolutely. Pizza Ball and Nightbot today is a buffet. So in less than 25 minutes, get your likes and your subs and your people in. Because everything's going to go up, up, and away at that point. Tingle's chart, the incredible chart, octo chart, great fairy chart. We're done with those. Island hearts chart. I just wish there was a way we knew how, other than manually doing it. Hmm. The light rings. So, someone who's really aware aware of these light rings, I mean, that seems like it's going to be kind of easy-ish to knock out. Um, to at least know that we get all five of them. And speaking of buffet goodness, we got a new subscriber today. So that means that that subscriber has gained us an extra minute at 9 o'clock. And 17 of you watching, that means it's 18 minutes extra on the clock. With our sponsor bonus we give, since we are under 10, we just round up to 10. That'll give us another extra 10 minutes. So right now, um, up to an extra 10 minutes. So right now that's going to be 20 minutes extra with the new sub. And the watchers and the sponsor bonus. Um, so the likes coming in, we will total them up at nine o'clock. Uh, let's see here. We are still still going to the light ring, which is one more one more south. And we'll see what we get for extra time today. And if that subscriber also is still watching at nine, they count for that total eighteen. And if they like the video, they add an extra there. So new subs can add three minutes, returning subs can add two minutes. It's all for some good extended time today, guys. All right, so it's getting close to dark. Oh, wow, Dylan, that's cool, man. 100%ing a game is not an easy task. It is definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, I wish you the best of luck in your actual journey for it. So, it does make for a new challenge. It usually gives you a really good sense of completion when it's all said and done. You know, I th think we haven't really explored all that this island has to offer.
I think what we need to do is on this island, we need to get our hook shot out. Oh, you're fine, man. You're fine, tiger. No worries, dude. Huh. Well, I was almost certain that the hook shot was going to be useful over here, but apparently it, it's lies. I mean, it was cool when this island was like creepy ambiance. Oh! GTA 5 girl! Guys, get some hashtag lore going on! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Laura! That is, that is super awesome! And let's, uh... Let's get this here. Oh! And that puts Laura in the lead! That actually, all right, one second. Let me get that taken care of real quick. Laura takes over with her donation to 384. And Laura, um, we have a, a save or shave campaign going on that you may be aware of. Is it a save the beard or a shave the beard donation? And speaking of which, we need to put $3.10 extra from Pizza Ball. For the save campaign. Forgot to get that totaled up. And maybe use the Deku Leaf from a high enough place. Okay. Pulling a shadow on us. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, that puts Laura in the... Yeah, GTA 5 girl Laura. Puts you in first place. Um, for... For uh, Free For All Friday. So what game would Laura like to see played? She probably wasn't expecting it because it was, you know, it's a it's a new week. So the totals get kind of jostled around a bit. Use the Deku Leaf on him. Um, an exotic flower. Well, yes, we will absolutely trade that. 25 rupees is a heck of a deal for something we haven't had. Boom! Hold on. Oh, yep. Bam! If you donated, it would be a save. Uh, we have several people that are going Fortnite. All right. So Fortnite Battle Royale or Fortnite Save the World? Because those are two different games. Probably Battle Royale. Hey, Ed, Head, that's, that's, how's it going, man? Actually enjoyed the Goron Trade Quest. The Goron Trade Quest is kind of cool. I, I like it. It's Battle Royale, yeah, I, I saw that one coming. All right, so we'll do some Battle Royale. And, you know, um, Laura, you know, if I do wind up doing Battle Royale on Free For All Friday, we could probably do squads, because I got a PS4 um, that I will absolutely stream that from. So, that, that might happen, that may not... Okay, so we want to use... Oh! That's cool! Flips his hat off! Ha ha ha! I'm easily amused, guys. We might do that, like, two more times. <laughs> Alright, so... But I still don't think that's the only thing to do on this island. Uh, true, it is cross-platform. That is true. We, we might, we might be able to talk Dig right into giving up her, her, her actual Netflix night that night and get her involved in that. I don't know. She keeps talking about wanting to play on Free For All Friday, and then she keeps remembering if it, oh, if it was, okay, if you, <laughs> Chadley, Laura is going to be so sandbagged with me <laughs> on Battle Royale. I wouldn't worry about it, man. If you wanted to join in with that, it's it's fine, dude. It is super fine. Oh, 
I, I just, there's got to be some way to get up on top of all this. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe there's like a little curly cue over here. Maybe we're about to drown. Hey, Drew, how's it going, man? Getting the broccoli maracas out. Sweet. And guys, there is your 15 warning for today's buffet totals. Boom. Oh, oh, aha. Voice chat on that game is a must, though. Uh, yeah, we do Discord. So it should be... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. Is that We're probably going to be doing leaf from the top and hope for the best. But yeah, any kind of squad-based tactical game like that, you absolutely, absolutely have to do things like that. Alright, so we're going to... We're going to make it windy. Really windy. Uh, 1 a.m. Okay. Totally understand, Tiger. Totally understand. It's Free-for-all is not for everybody. Uh, we, we try to keep our... Wait. Did I just blow the wind the wrong direction, guys? I sure did. That is funny. That's like funny in a I am so silly way. So we want to blow this north. Way to Korok. <laughs> yeah, there is a Korok right over here. Um, yes, you are correct, man. We are we are getting closer and closer to that P.O. box. Uh, that's okay. No worries, Laura. Thanks for coming in and, and for the donation. That is super awesome, Laura. And can we make it here? Oh, wow. Okay, so we got here with the Korok Leaf. And we just slide off. That's very anticlimactic. Ah, you're for shave. Oh, oh, 384 going into the shave category, guys. Boom. Oh, oh, no, I think I'm about to drown. I think I'm about to drown because I was updating the, the counter. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. Link goes under. <laughs> if you donate again, you'll change your preference to Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, okay, okay. I, I don't disagree with that at all, Pizza Ball. It'd be fun to do. All right, so we drowned. And we were so shocked by the fact that Laura wanted to shave our goatee off that we wound up going under. Oh... So now the, the other question is, if it does get shaved off, does Laura want to see the, the baby face, or does she want to see the mustache? I would probably think the baby face. Also able to do this. Um, oh, that's cool. That's a real cool way to go about it. See, I feel like there should be more to this island. I mean... Like, a lot more to this island. And there just hasn't been yet. It's like Red Lion's cousin. I wonder if he, like, mourned him or not. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. Um, whoa, that was creepy. Like, Red Lion's totally, like, freaked out for a second. I think... A little cave up there. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. Well, there is a light ring here. Um, there, we also have the cave map. So there's the light ring. Secret cave map. Secret cave map says there's no secret cave here. So there's no secret cave here. Uh, there should be a light ring, but I haven't seen a light ring in this zone yet. Hmm. Huh? 
Got the cool animating software earlier this week. Oh, that's awesome. That That is sweet, Tiger. I like the idea of that. I just scared you. Looked down for a second, and it looked like the King of Red Lions was possessed. I, I agree, Dylan. Uh, I think it's northwest. Okay. Uh, we're going to try to fly on top of that little island there. See if we can actually get on top of it this time. Okay, so we actually can get on top here. Oh, there is a chest right there, guys. Look at that. So we now have we now have a goal. We know exactly where we need to get to. So that's where we got to get to. Hey, Ponus, how's it going? Glad you're able to make it today. Moon has to be correct for the ring to appear. Okay, yeah. Um, I think you may be right on that. I think each lane on the map is for a different phase. So we may have to do a number of things that we can barely get here before drowning. But that's fine, because we don't have to get here um, and be here for too long. Okay, so... We know there's a chest right over there, so we're going to be going toward that chest. Got your like in, old way, cool opponents. Really appreciate that. All right, and let's see if we can get to this chest, or if it's just too far. We saw a chest, saw a chest. Now we're flying to that chest. Treasure! 27 likes. Way cool, guys. Way cool. We'll be totaling all that up in just a little bit. Oh, there's another piece of the heart. And we got another heart. Yeah. All right. So, we at least know that we got that taken care of. All right. Yep. Hey, Kenny. Hey, man, we are just getting showered with fellow streamers today. Kenny the Neo Kid, guys, recommend checking his stuff out. His, his stream is scheduled a little bit on the erratic side, because much like a lot of you, uh, he's got some school stuff he's doing this year. Uh, he's got some classes he's taken. Uh, but he does a lot of really awesome stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Tiger, way cool on that. Only 16 pieces of heart remain. That's good to know, the guy. That's good to know. Uh, Kenny actually played Wind Waker. Um, I'm not sure where he's at because he started before I started this and I wanted it to be a blind completion for me. Um, so I was able to pop in, say hi to him, and then had to pop out. But yeah, he does some really awesome, cool stuff on his streams. Uh, he plays Jackbox. He does karaoke. Um, he does a lot of real cool stuff. He's been playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. You did finish Wind Waker. Awesome. I will have to go back and watch the whole entire series once I'm done here. Um, but yeah... Let's see here. And I think, Kenny, you just hit like 400 subs recently, didn't you? Because I, I remember seeing a, a Splatoon kind of like celebration for it, if I remember right. I assume 16 if your health max is at 20. I don't know where my health max is at. Um, let's see. Let's go back to that light chart. Um, light ring chart. So we need like a half moon. Yep, 400 subs. Congrats on that, man. Hey, Justin Bray, how's it going? You is not trying to 100% it. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah, I had art. So did I. But yeah, that was way cool, man. Congratulations on that. You do real good content, man. I'm happy that the, the masses of YouTube are, are realizing that, too. Looks like we have like a, a no moon night. Hmm. The, the icon in our little moon chart in the bottom left-hand corner doesn't even match this. I mean, what what the jazz, guys? Paste pictures because you made a Kawhi mag. Oh, Freddy, you can in Discord, man. In our Discord, there's a PG Pics in, in uh, Vids room. So let's... Um, not sure really where the light ring would be over here. 
I would presume we'd be able to see it. Well, there is a light ring, but not the light ring we're looking for, I don't think. Oh, wow. Hey, JYJR, Zombie Billy, I'm doing good, guys. This is probably not the light ring we seek, but at least we get to see our little beard that we got. Do you have the day and night return? We do, we do. Um, a rupee, okay. So I, I think we're going to be doing that. Song of Passing. We'll do it twice so we can get an idea what the moon's going to be like. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, and guys, we got two new subscribers today, which means that those two new subscribers will actually be changing the... Uh, yes, Lou! <laughs> hey, Lou, yeah, it's been cut off for about a week now, man. Uh, it got warm outside. Oh, wow. So it's So we're on the... Okay, so I know where we're at now. Ah, uh, so we're waning. We're not, we're not waxing. So, may pass this, which should, in most cases, the next moon that we get should actually be uh, an empty moon. Pizza ball donated a dollar a one. Oh my gosh! Oh, and that is another dollar and penny to the save the beard campaign and that puts pizza ball at the top at four dollars and eleven cents for free for all but he actually is wanting to see the same thing that Laura is wanting to see now and so that we are going to be doing Fortnite Battle Royale possibly on PlayStation 4 or PC We'll be doing some squad play uh, if he or Laura win this week. All right, so what do we got going on here? We all right, so we got the new. So there's no there's no empty moon. Apparently these guys don't like Ragabash. Oh well. How did my dentist appointment go, Magic Carp? That's a very excellent question. Pan Erican, how's it going? And that does remind me of something, guys. Um, so the disappointment last Monday, uh, it did not go well. Um, I went in. There was a defect in the actual bridge that they had produced for me. So this is the right time. We, we, we have the half moon. That's the first half moon. So somewhere around here, there's going to be a light ring that we need to get to. Um, so there was a defect in the bridge implant, and so they've had to make a new one. And so Monday, I got to go in. And yes, you're corrected. Uh, oh, yeah, you got the picture posted in Discord. Okay, well, Freddie, after the stream today, man, I'll be definitely checking out that. I always check out our Discord after streams. I'm not seeing... Well, there is a... Itty bitty ling of right or ling uh, ring of light. Boy, I can't talk this one, guys. But I was expecting something a little bit more ginormous. I wonder if this is something we've already done in a prior. What does a ring? I, I well, I know what a light ring looks like. It, it looks like that, um, but I'm presuming that the things on the map are going to be huge. can't talk ever oh wow magic carp that that's you know that's you know I, I trip over my words sometimes it is is it is what it is but yeah so hey jpb yeah man yeah dude uh, you, you're here for more than just last night because you played mario kart like the last time that we played mario kart with us too for i remember you uh you're pretty good dude all right so i guess we try to make it to the 
that middle island and that is where we're going to be stopping just for a brief moment we have gained two no subscribers so that extends the stream right there off the bat by two minutes there are 23 watching that's 25 boom and next we grab the handy dandy youtube creators app that i got here and that will let us know how many likes we got Come on, YouTube. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 30. And so we'll go ahead and round that up with the sponsor thing that we got. Boom. So 25, 30, sponsor round up to the nearest 10. Puts us at an extra hour, guys. So today's buffet stream will go until 10 o'clock. And setting the alarm for that right now. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Dwy, good morning to you, man. Speaking of sponsors that give us the bonus, there's Dwy. He's one of our sponsors, just like uh, Pizza Ball is and Drew Benson. Three of our sponsors out of the seven we got. Way cool to see you guys here. All right. And I already forgot. All right. We're going to go to Northern Triangle Island, and we're hoping... To figure out what we got going with this light ring chart. I mean, I don't know what we got going on it. But once we get to the light ring and we go here and we figure out what's going on, if we figure out what's going on, right? Because that's that's the question, right? It's not a a we will, it's kind of a if we will. If we figure it out, sweet, way cool. If not, as stated in the beginning of the stream. We're going to go back to Battleship because we've got three out of the five prizes for Battleship. So we've got to sploosh that guy two more times. Um, we got to get him two more times, guys. I don't know if we can manage that or not. You might possibly laugh at your pictures. Well, Freddy, that's a, that's a potential, man. That's a potential. And you know, man, I, uh, I know that art is not an easy thing. So it's not going to be... If it doesn't look like it should look, that's that's simply because that it's one of those things that I considered a rough draft or something. So I'm never going to laugh, at, you know, in a, a spite way or a malice way. That's just not cool. Um, but if it's a funny picture, I'll laugh at a funny picture. So we're at the half moon, so we're looking for the full half moon right now. So that's that's what we're looking at. If the light chart is correct. And we presume it is. We presume it is. Alright. So this is the half moon. This is. According to the light ring chart. We. Oh wait. It's supposed to be a full moon. Looking for the moon. Yeah, it's not a full moon yet. Oh, opponents, I uh, I agree. You know, you you got to have an open mind. In most most artists that I know, any variety, from beginning to skilled. Um, they, they usually are very critical of their artwork. All right. So here's the full moon. So somewhere in this zone is the answer to what these light rings do, supposedly. Well, there's a whole lot of light rings over there, but I don't... I mean, that can't be what it is. I mean, is it? I mean... Wow, that's what that is. It's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's good for, like, rupee farming or something, but not really good for anything else. I mean, there's definitely per capita, like, more light rings over here than what we normally would expect. Hmm. 
Might be a fancy chest you found. It only appears at the... Ah, okay. Well, that, that's fair, Sabo. Uh, it's something that we're going to have to chase down. I think it's something that we might actually do a bit more research on, to be sure. Alright. So, we're going to go back to playing some Battleship. I'm the best streamer ever, and thank you, man. I, I really appreciate the compliment. I and uh, YouTube in, in general at the moment disagree a little bit with that. But, you know... Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, wait. Our chart just went to complete full-on moon right now. So maybe... Maybe it's like only while the moon is all the way up in that phase. Uh, it looks like the brief amount of moment we had went... Oh, how weird. How weird the moon phase changed, guys. Did you see that? Huh. Huh. Odd. You now have three pictures which are meant to be funny. That's good. Um, that's true to a guy. I think uh, a quick Google search, though, might be better usage of our time. But I will, uh... It's Beetle. Yeah, Beetle's everywhere, man. Beetle's everywhere, but... We are here to take on something more nefarious than Beetle. We are here to take on the Sploosh Man. Sploosh man, we've come to do battle! With your funny cutouts and your accent, which we can't place. Even Link wasn't unsure. I mean, you see that little, uh, kind of like the... I don't know if you guys can see my eyes or not, but they're kind of like almost rolling. And again, guys, we'll spend about 15 minutes on this tops. 15 minutes. If we just don't get a single one at all, we're we're done. Wait, 24 cannonballs. All right. You should buy a couple exotic plants. Um, the guy. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. While we're here, we should beautify the city a bit. Kaboom! We got one! Wow. Oh! So there's the three, and there's the two. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh... Ripperoni. Oh, we can. We got two shots to try to get this. One shot. Oh, well. Ah! Missed it by that much. Oh, bad news. Enemies retreated or something. Yeah. Well, we got one kaboom off the salvo of eight. Not bad. Okay, guys. Oh. Since it's a little bit too one, we just kind of random fire cannonballs. Ugh. Did some research. You'll post a link in Discord. Really appreciate that, Sabo. Really appreciate that. Oh, I don't think the exotic plants trading to the other Goron does anything good for us. I think it's just one of those... 
trade up quests where you keep just getting new plants. Wow, we are just not doing good at all. At all. Cool beans, Efren. Coffee doesn't agree with your stomach. Oh, Magikarp. That's unfortunate. Uh, recommend usually getting like a French press for coffee drinkers. And doing what's called a cold brew. It's supposed to make coffee um, way more palatable to the stomach. So we have three more shots to try to hit this thing. Um, yeah, it was such a good hole over there. I was just like, uh, maybe it's that. And yeah. Sploosh, 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 sploosh. Wow, wow. <laughs> uh, Sabo, you want to post links inside the uh, Picks and Vids room? Uh, that's going to be the best place for that kind of stuff. Or the advertising room. Uh, Picks and Vids is usually best for links. Bunch of those beautifying objects that you get from those gorns. Yes, there are, though, guy. There are. Um... Yeah, the, the bot's pretty much to keep people from spamming links inside the general to make general just about, you know, conversation. All right, so kaboom. Oops. And now things go horribly wrong, guys. Oh! Look at that! One more, we would have had it! I probably would have, like, fired up top, though, so... Alright, guys, uh, we're getting we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, we got the three one done, so that's good. We're giving this four one very few places to hide. And we still managed to miss it with the... Oh, we, we hit something. Back from getting lunch. Is this required for 100%? Yes, it is, opponents. It is required for 100%. There are items that you can get from this that you can only obtain from this. Uh, treasure chart maps, for starters. Which is kind of unfair of Nintendo, in my opinion, but it is what it is. Just like the auction house, uh, you can close the auction house down. Oh, well, this is really good for us. So there's the three and there's the four. Now this is bad for us because there's, we presume this is bad for us. Let's see here. That could have been the, 
No, no, okay. The guy, yeah, he absolutely likes his job. All he has to do is push the button and say the word sploosh and kaboom. Do you like strong coffee or sugary? Efren, I am a uh, sugary drinker, man. I like my coffee blonde. Um, I like my coffee to have so much creamer in it that if I put the coffee stir in it, I have to push it to make it tilt over. Uh, that's just the way I am when it comes to drinking coffee, though, man. I uh, Digger likes hers close to black, and I just can't. I just can't. Oh, okay, guys. We have one more shot. Where do we put it? Do we up, down, left, or right, guys? North, south, east, or west? Uh, I mean, it's close as we've gotten in a while. I know, right? I know. Vote left. Well, you're the first person that spoke up. Do guy, you got it, man. You go, dude. You go. Awesome. Here we go with the dance. Boom. Is there a Wikipedia article on convertible turtle gaming? No, there's not, Freddy. Yeah. Yeah. Left got it. Left got it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was only a rupee prize, though. I'm I'm concerned with that. If if we get another if we get another rupee prize, ooh, we already got the two one out of the way. That helps. That doesn't help. Oh. We could cheat? Um. Yeah, I, I don't know how to cheat at Battleship, so. Ooh. We got it. That was like. Wow. That was really good. Here comes the dancing guy. Yay! Alright, so that's the second time we've gotten 50 rupees, guys. I... And that's two more wins. So that's five wins we've totaled on this thing. I'm... I'm pretty... There's charts online that show you the location. I don't know if that really helps, though. I mean, because you have to kind of guess. Uh, there are only so many very squid placements true um, but still I mean there'd be you'd have to still do some work to get to where the placements are so I think we're done with battleship I mean he's just giving us rupees now so I think the prizes that we can get from him are done and Hob said five different prizes but we've gotten three hmm so now you can do the other mini game okay notably less pain well that's good magic carp that's good so you said the other mini game was to the east like on dragon roost island the only game I know on Dragon Roost is the mail sorting game. You'd gotten another treasure chart, huh? Oh, uh, we should probably go turn some joy pendants. Because we, we do have... I think we have the requisite extra pile of them over here. 
And we have 18. Hmm. West for the other battleship game. Like, which one, man? Because the closest thing to a, a city we have is Mother and Child Isle over here. It might not be direct west. Okay. Odd. Let's see if she does anything. We the first or second from windfall. Interesting. If you recall. Okay. Well, we're gonna go to our items bag. We're gonna go to our spoils bag. Um, spoils bag mag. All right. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Wow. Oh, wow, guys, that is So, it looks like we have everything we need. Okay, so only three of them. So at this point, let's go to her little thing here. Now, I'm, I'm presuming. Oh, not hers, his. Check. So, you could be wrong, we have changed it since GameCube, okay. There are a dozen of those that you trade? Maybe more? Okay. Hey, Lewis, how's it going, man? So, is there a specific kind of... Like... Like... Hmm. Can I take them up after I'm done? Alright, so I can, so we'll, we'll put that back in the delivery bag. Kind of feel like we have to beautify the whole town. It's preference? Okay. Okay, that's good. So I, I mean, 
Because, I mean, he, I guess he could fit three more there. And, like, three more here. Because it's just in maybe the back shelves, even. So they'll trade me new ones. Okay. So let me think. Do we remember where the other Gorons are? Because I sure don't. Oh, who are you? Oh, well, you're a lady that just tells us about Dragon Roost Island is all. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, Doga. I read Typo pretty well, man. We haven't gotten any letters in the mailbox in forever. So let's think. Uh, where are the other Gorons at? Oh. I don't remember where they are, guys. I want to say one's on Cabana Isle, almost. Have a new strategy. You listen to the rest of the stream? Oh, cool. Hobbs, that would be super awesome, man. At this point, we've been to every island. I just... My memory is so shot at times that I'm not going to be able to... Mother Child Isle, the wrecked island, you're on other, and you forget where the third is. So, Mother Child Isle. Um, so, that's actually at the, the Child Isle. So, we're going to go there first. And Hobbs will be telling us where the other one is. Coco Cabana? Uh, the Cabana might have the other one, yeah. That might be where it is. It's It's been a while, though. Uh, da, da, da. Da, 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 And we're going out in the boat. Do, do, do. Sploosh! Sploosh! It's a Puzzle Island over there. I don't think we had any uh, merchants over on this Puzzle Island, but maybe we did. Gotta run for the day? Okay, cool beans. A bomb island. Okay, so that's the other one. But are we sure that Mother Child Island is the other one, though? Pretty certain. Jump, jump. Now, see you, Drew. Take it easy, man. All right. So awesome. And it looks like there's his little uh, his boat, because they all have a boat, because they're Gorons. They don't swim. Off the boat! Storm the beach! Get the plant. Oops, wrong button. Off the part. Alright, boom. You there! My subscribers say that you will do something different for this other than a town plant or a ocean plant. A pinwheel! Yeah! 55 rupees, wow. I got scammed. I got scammed. I, I, I think I got tricked, guys, out of all my treats. But now I got the pinwheel flower. So I, can, I should be able to trade both a pinwheel and a uh, exotic to the guy on Balm Island. So let's let's go look for the my, probably my favorite island in this whole entire thing. It's it's there at F5. 
Yeah, of course it is, because Hobbs told me that's where it was. Uh, Mag, you are, you are definitely getting closer and closer to 10 o'clock today. Do I have a picture of a Goron? That's a very valid question. I don't believe I do. I don't believe I do. Hmm. Items. Picture. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. All right. Now I have a picture with a Goron, which also is a picture of a Goron. All right, so now we're going to do the gills. Also saved recently. No, the guy I haven't saved recently. Uh, that's that's probably a good idea to do that. <laughs> Hope the Goron doesn't mind. You know, we didn't ask him if he could be in the photo. Um, but if anybody asks, that's why you do the selfie one like that, because you just claim the guy behind you photobombed you. I'm not really suggesting that, guys. You should always get people's permission before you take their photo. Um, some people have religious preference on that, and some people just don't like to be photographed. You know, Digrat doesn't like to be photoed. She doesn't... It's just not the way she likes to do things in her world. All right, so we're going to go north... Do -do -do. Do -do -do. That might be Bomb Island right over there, but I don't know. Once we cross the border, we'll know. No, Bomb Island is a hard right. Should you try the trial of the sword? Um, I think it's a real good, fun trial to do, man. It's it is going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult, Magikarp. I I will admit that to everybody. It is going to test you. Uh, you're probably not going to have a pleasant time of it if you don't. Um, relax and just plot out what you're going to be doing. So, we're going to go items over here. No, nope, we're not going to give this guy our hammer. We're going to see if he wants this pinwheel first. You want a pinwheel, dude? Here's the pinwheel. Um, keep it. <laughs> a sickle moon flag. Well, we certainly would. Absolutely. 40 rupees? That's a deal, dude. Sold. And now we got a sickle moon flag to give to the other guy. And then, if that weren't enough, we got an exotic flower for this dude. Here's an exotic flower. That is an exotic flower. It sure is. For a sickle moon flag. Uh, no, dude. We already got one of those. We already got one of those. All right. Why you wanted to give us the same thing twice, I don't know. All right. So, we do have a sickle moon flag to go back to the other guy, though. And... Back to the fish island with the moon flag, too, possibly. Because we got that. So, we know that we are now done with exotic plants. Because we gave we gave an exotic plant to that one dude. He didn't want it. He wanted to give us the same thing twice. Unless that's just kind of a glitch in the quest. So, we're going to go back. We're going to plant an exotic flower. We're going to buy another pinwheel. We're going to go to the dude at the, the Great Fish Island. And we're going to give him a, a pinwheel and a, a sickle and hope for the best. 
But first, we're going to make it daylight around this place. Let there be sunlight, guys. Because sunlight is what you have to have for the stores to be open. Most of these places, except for the auction house, are closed during the night. In the auction house, we, we bought up all their stuff, so we can't do anything at the auction house anymore. Oh. Alrighty. And... Boom. Oh, he just made another stall to the side. Alright. Uh... Oh, okay, so we have to actually go to the next stall over. Okay, so... Pinwheel. Boom. Alright. Vitamin D, yes! Vitamin D, lots of vitamin D for being out in the sun. Um, I work nights, so I actually take a vitamin D supplement. Take some D3, because I don't get out in the sun much. All right, so actually, I don't think we. Whoa, okay. So if I hit pause, it just puts that big one up there. That's cool. Um, lost my buttons. Neat. I am officially there. We go. I was confluffled, guys. All right, so we're gonna take the spoon flag. We're going to go to our map. We're going to go to Greyfish Isle, which is down here. So we're facing the right direction. It's so hot. Opponents, it's been really hot, guys. It's been pretty warm just about everywhere. Um, even in Georgia, it's been just ridiculous the last, last little bit. Like, me and Digger were talking about how often we've been running the air conditioning here today. And it's just, it's just one of those things that we're like, wow. But yeah, Magic Carp, back to the Trial of the Sword, man. If you're going to do Trial of the Sword, if you're not already involved in it right now, um, you want to plan out what you're going to be doing. You want to plan out your, your fights. You want to make sure that you got the right stuff going. Um, you don't want to actually fight the fights the way the game's building it because they made it challenging on that way and that's that's the trick to the trial of the sword is in breath of the wild you can be so creative in what you do and what you accomplish and how you accomplish it and trial of the sword is the exact same way so if it looks like you should be doing a try to figure out what b is or what C is, and it will make that competition, that little thing, a lot easier for you. It absolutely will. Absolutely will. Do do do. Where's the Goron? We got a flag to sell him. And if he buys that flag, at some point maybe we'll get a bridge also, you never know. Hey, it's a beetle. I don't think we need any beetle stuff. Let's check. We got all the bombs. We got all the arrows. Well, we got two spots for some pairs. Let's buy some pairs. We haven't talked to beetle all day today, guys. Oh. So he's not selling pairs. How... Not beetle like. Okay. Found overthink the trials is your problem. We just relax and went for it. Yeah, that also helps too. Um, it just depends on what your strength is, right? Some people are more instinctual players, some are more methodical. Uh, for me, it's the methodical side. So for me, I had to, you know, plot it out and plan it out and that kind of thing. But if instinct is your go to, man, by all means, then just kind of go and fill it and, and just kill everything. Okay, I know there was a Goron over here. Where are you at, little Goron? Where are you at?
Maybe he's sleeping? Maybe he only comes out at night? Um, you know, it's probably not um, a happy situation for the Gorons, right? I mean, if you think about it, at least... Yeah, he's he actually comes out at night only. That's neat. A fountain idol. Sure, we'll trade that for a fountain idol. And it's going to be expensive. Yeah, it's a deal. Boom. And then we're going to go over here. Hey, that's a cool fountain idol, man. Thank you for trading that for that sickle moon flag. What about this pinwall? I did have only one death. You are correct, Pizza Ball. And that's uh, exotic flyer. Nope, we don't want that exotic flyer. No, thank you for that. But we got this pinwheel. We got this new statue. So we're going to we're going to go back to Bomb Island with the, the statue. which is F5. Actually, Mother Child Isle is just north of us. Let's just go there. Because they don't know about the statue yet, either. Oh, the water room with the Lizalfos. Yes. Uh, when, I, when I actually tried that on my other game, um, that room... That's the one you really have to be kind of careful with, right? Um, stealth killing one of them is kind of key, in my opinion. Um, and then dividing them up. But yeah, that was on the 12-hour stream, uh, Magikarp, where we went through the trial on normal. It was normal. It wasn't the master mode, you know, trial of the master sword. But, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was tough. Uh, I, th I think the room that I died in my, tra my, uh, trial... Um, I died for a really dumb reason, in my opinion. It was because I didn't even know the enemy I was fighting. Uh, it was one of those trials of master mode. Yeah, trials of master mode are going to be just uh, gross, uh, for lack of a better way to even think about it. All right, you dude, I, I think you're the one who we got the actual pinwheel from. So you're not going to want the pinwheel, most likely. Kind of makes me wish I would have gotten the exotic plant. But I tried that, I think. Alright. You there. Hello, here's a pinwheel. Do you like this pinwheel? Uh, no, we don't want the exotic flower. But what we do want is we want to see what you think about this statue. Push the right button. Exactly. Strike and hide will not be an option whatsoever. Big cell flag. Hey, sure. Big cell flag sounds really good. 35 rupees. Okay. Sweet. We got a merchant oath going. Sweet. All right. So where is... Where'd red out lines go? All right. This is Mother Child Island. We're going to go back south to Windfall Island. Or to... Not Windfall Island, but... Uh, was it Giant Fish Island, I think is what it is? Great Fish Island. Alright. Am I even going the right direction? I am. Cool. And that's the one thing that makes Master Mode pretty difficult, opponents, is the, uh, the health regen. The, the Ganon Blights are really, really grossly tough on Master Mode. Not so much because the difficulty gets really ramped, but because when they do that teleport thing in between phase shifts, if they double teleport on you, their health just starts regenerating. And it's not even... It, it's, it's frustrating. Um, 
there, there's a lot of frustration in that, in my opinion. Arrows are your friend? Yes, because you have to keep hitting that damage over and over and over again on them. Because um, if you stop doing damage to them for any kind of period of time, it just completely starts regenerating the hit points. Nine weeks of the school haven't even had a serious mental breakdown. That's way cool, Dylan. <laughs> Uh, can't wait for summer so you can get back to watching me daily. Well, appreciate that, ma'am. Really appreciate that. On the bright side, you can catch Digrat every single week because she streams on Sunday evenings. And we always like to see you there during Sunday Skyrim, so no worries there, Dylan. And we can see you on Free For All Friday as well. All ashore that's going to shore. Everybody trade your goods with me. All right. That is, yeah, that's a flag. A hero's flag? Well, yeah. We'll buy it. We'll, we'll definitely take the hero's flag. You have kind of. Okay. Hit in its weak spot for massive damage? That's true, too. Hit him right in the off button. Lionels will shoot whenever you get an opening to stop them restoring the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now that we got this new flag, we're going to go to the North Island. Back to Mother Child Island so we can say, hey, we got this other flag. How do you how do you like it? See if he's got something he wants to trade to us for that. Sploosh. Sploosh. That guy's, that guy's really awesome sound effect on battleships just stuck in my head. What was that reference? I thought... Um, uh, Mr. Magikarp? Uh, I, I have to admit, man, I'm my mind's drawing a blank, but it is getting really kind of close to, um, like, you know, further and further from nine, so my brain kind of stops catching things like that. They just go whoop, right over my almost bald head, dude. They just, they barely brush the top of the actual hair there. Totally understood, Dylan. No worries, man. And that, that's a smart way to do your homework on the weekend, man. Hit it hard on Friday. Make sure you don't have any more the rest of the weekend so you can enjoy your weekend. I mean, that's, that's what they call doing homework for the weekend. And it's, uh, or working for the weekend. Definitely a skill that you want to learn early on in life. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve you well. Make sure you get all your work done before you got to leave. That way you don't have a lot of stuff waiting for you when you get back. Always a good plus. Hey, dude. You like this flag? It's a hero's flag. It absolutely is. Big cell flag. Nope. Nope. We don't want the big cell flag. And I think we already tried to trade him this pinwheel. But we'll try this pinwheel just to be sure. Yeah, um, you can. That's a, a neat little... No, not exotic flower either. All right. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. I'm sure on that. All right, so now we've we've traded these guys back and forth to where they're done trading with each other. So the next thing we're going to do is go to Bomb Island, which is at F5. And we're going to... Whoops. And we're going to try to trade these two items over to him as well. Um, that is... Tower of the Gods, Forest Haven. We're trying to avoid Tower of the Gods. For some reason, you like to wait until 4.30 in the morning on the Friday to do weekend homework. Oh, wow. That's... Hmm. That's interesting. Like, you mean like 4.30 a.m. on Saturday or something? Or... Because the way you the way you said it, at least uh, with the grammar that I utilize, um, indicates like you're doing it before class on Friday, which would be kind of difficult. But maybe you mean like Saturday morning at 4:30. But some people do that too. Some people don't want to do it when they get right out home from school. You know, they just did like eight hours of school. Hey, Vulcan, how's it going? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. We played some Minecraft last night. We missed you. 
But um, always cool to see you in here. All right, we got doosh, doosh, doosh. Sploosh. Bottom Island, 4.30 a.m., but still Friday night. Okay, so, yeah, so Saturday morning at 4.30. Okay. Playing Splatfest. Yeah, there's a lot of people doing Splatfest right now. Hey, that's a pinwheel. It sure is. Sickle moon flag. No, thank you. We're, we're, we're sick of the sickle moon flag. That's no longer what's selling hot, like hotcakes. Everybody and their dog wants a sickle moon flag, and they stop wanting it. Hey, Mimikyu, how's it going? You're on Werewolf. Awesome. Yeah, I, I see you. Uh, sometimes I'm feeling productive. Strikes. Yeah, i got to do splat fast just to this. Oh, I totally understand that. Uh, that's cool, Mimikyu. No worries. Big catch flag. Well, sure, we'll buy that. 85 rupees. Boom. That's okay, Mimikyu. No worries. We understand. You know, people have school and that kind of stuff. Um, I did not take AP classes, Dylan. I, I went a different route. I wanted to be, and I graduated in 11th grade. I did not actually do any of my 12th grade classes in 12th grade. Um, when I was in 7th grade, I decided I was done with school. I hated it. I, I have to be straight up honest, guys. And it's not because of the actual school itself. It's because of the social environment. You know, people talk a, a lot about bullying these days. And I am very anti-bully. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I love having this open, safe environment for everybody to play with. Bullies just made school miserable for me. Going to have strange-looking legs in this game. Um, whoa, what's going on? Okay. Let's try that again. Uh, maybe it's because it doesn't have any power. Wow. The okay. That was that was strange. Um, I've been charging this after every stream, but I think the the Wii U. Um, yeah, maybe you you know school is school is important, right? Um, so. I, I found out that, yeah, save, that's a very good point, no guy. We don't want to lose all this progress. So what I did in, in, in seventh grade when I found out that I really just wanted to be out there, uh, you've never had any friends? Well, friends are, uh, friends are tricky, mimic you. People, people have a real difficult concept with friends. And it, it's definitely odd. Alright, so it looks like we can have like one more stall wall here. Oh, well the big catch one we, we need to save actually. But we can plant the pinwall there because we're sure that nobody needs the pinwall. Alright, um, uh, for... Five foot four and sixth grade. Well, that's cool, Magic Carp. That's cool. I'm I'm a pretty big dude too. I uh, I gotta admit that was probably a part of it. All right. So the question is, which of these do we need to trade with the other guys we got now? And I I don't know. That's the, that's the answer. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It does make it difficult for those being bullied. So what I did in 7th grade is I said, well, I don't want to be here too long. So I looked into early graduation, and I saw what my credits required for graduation were. And so instead of doing AP courses, what I did is I did summer class. And by the time I hit my uh, beginning of my actual junior year, hey, potato! How's it going, man? Um... Or sophomore year, for, in my 11th grade year, whatever you want to call it. Um, I needed all the credits through 11th grade plus two English credits. And so I, I went for early graduation. I, I walked across the stage a year early. I went to summer school after I had my actual diploma. 
Um, and I completed my two English credits and I got out of school. Uh, in retrospect, it was a bad decision. It was a bad decision. I should have spent my 12th grade year getting all AP courses. Uh, stuff you should know about homeschooling. Yeah, yeah, cool. Off to sleep. Just dropped by. Appreciate that potato. We're doing good, man. We're doing good. <laughs> she's she's funny. All right, so the question is, which of these items do I have to trade still? And I really don't know. Uh, Mimikyu, we may not be here when you get back. Uh, Efren, the uh, the content may appear useless, but the substance isn't useless because what school really does is it trains you for the real world. It sees you, it basically teaches you a work ethic and how well are you going to stick with something. Is the, the, That's the real goal of the school. Uh, because when you get an actual job or a career outside of school, it's the same thing. Promotion isn't based upon how well you do your job. In some cases it is. But it's more with how well you can retain information for short periods of time and how well are you to do just busy work? Even my job's that way. And I, I have a pretty good job. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, Trabin, how's it going, dude? Alright, well, um, if Hobbs is poking around, he would know exactly which of these statues I still need to trade. But, I don't know if he is or not. I do know that we need the, um... The big catch banner, which I think we still have in our bag. We do. And we just got it. So I th think we're going to go and just take that flag. Um, a little bit tedious, opponents. A little bit, but not too bad. I'm sure I'm sure Hobbs will know exactly what we need. Because he has, he has this stuff all documented. I mean, he is, he is, our, he is Matt Rayford 2.0, guys. Somewhat, yeah, it's somewhat tedious. I, I won't lie, you know, and say it's not, but it's it's not as bad as some things. I mean, it, let, let's be honest, guys. Right? This is not 200. This is not 900 Koroks worth of tedium. Um, so it, it, once you do 900 Koroks, everything is like tedious. Pshaw, that ain't tedious. You want to talk about tedious? Let me tell you when I had to find 900 of these little tiny dudes hiding everywhere. There are a bunch of pedestals. You can just place them if you can't trade them. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a fair assessment, opponents. Though, to be fair, though, I think Hobbs said he's played this game like... 7? 17? 27? Something like that? Something ending in the 7 uh, times. And I think Matt's only played it like 3 or 4. Um, so, you know... And it's been a while since Matt's played. But they, they both have really good information. Really good information. In school, you had the worst work ethic. After seventh grade, you made C's and D's all the way through high school. But your hardworking person comes in exactly potato. I uh, that that's the other thing that was just a real bad decision for me. Uh, when I decided I no longer wanted to be in school, I just stopped trying to excel and just tried to get out. Um, all right, well, we will actually be done playing in about two minutes, Magikarp. School puts too much pressure on students to learn stuff. Yeah, um, oh. Oh. Um, no, we don't want to drop that. That was the wrong button. I thought that was my boomerang, but it's not. Oh, no! Oh, rip, Mag, rip. Oh. Yeah, absolutely enjoy the pancakes, dude. Pancakes are great to enjoy. All right. Team the Korok seems to be so bad if you got more than... Uh, I don't know. Infinite dances are great. Um, throwing away our trophy in the middle of all that because we really weren't paying attention to what we was reading was bad. Reading's tech, guys. Reading's tech. 
sadness. All right. Well, we need to go back to Windfall Island because we just threw away our, our, our trophy that we came all the way over here for anyways. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. That's definitely a facepalm, guys. That is a facepalm and a half. Ugh. And there went the alarm saying that the stream is coming to a close. So, we're going to go back to Windfall Island. We're going to stop there. Teachers don't get paid enough. No, they don't, the guy. Uh, schools don't get enough money for their curriculum either. And so, the low-paid teachers take money out of their own pocket to make sure that their students can get the material that they need. It's, it's just an unfortunate. The paw just met the face. Yes, it did. It did. It was a face paw instead of a face palm. Ugh. All right, well, we're going to go save in front of this stall. So we'll know tomorrow morning, or Monday morning, after Shipwreck Sunday, what we got going on. So right now, looks like Shipwreck Sunday is ending in a 7. Which means we're going to be streaming a brand new game that we've not ever streamed before tomorrow. Uh, so that's super cool. Uh, we will absolutely be figuring that out today. It'll be something that you guys never seen on stream. We'll be playing it for the first time ever. Uh, King of Red Lions Face Palm. Um, I don't know how he does, but you know he absolutely did when he saw me throw that away. Saving. And guys, it was super awesome hanging out with you guys today on this actual um, buffet stream. Super awesome. Always love talking to you guys. Love hanging out with you all. Um, we'll figure out what it is. It will be announced in Discord today at some point. What we'll be streaming tomorrow morning for Shipwreck Sunday. Uh, I, even I don't know right at the moment. But guys, I'm Max Sync with Convertible Turtle Gaming. I will see you all tomorrow. And remember, tomorrow is Shipwreck Sunday plus Skyrim with Dick Rat in the evening. So have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great pancakes. Whatever you're doing today, guys. Just make sure you have a good time doing it. Take care and peace out.